I came across this phrase, catalepsis, right? A sense of certainty or truth from which nothing can dislodge us. Right? A mystical experience, a moment of visionary understanding. As Isaiah Berlin said, to understand is to perceive patterns when the dots connect and the new gestalt appears and you see the big picture. Nothing can dislodge us. And we're all hungry for this kind of certainty. We're all looking for this kind of existential reassurance. For a story that feels real and that imbues our lives with meaning and signification. We are storytelling animals. We require rich mythologies, narratives that envelop us in truth. The question remains, right? In a world in which our rational faculties constantly poke holes in our most treasured narratives, we've instead moved into a realm where existential doubt and existential grief is the new normal. Nothing is certain except death and taxes, as they say. And you know what this has done? This has dislodged us from our comfort zone. We are off the reservation. We know not where we're going, which direction we are flowing. You know, it feels like that scene in Willy Wonka when they go through the funhouse tunnel. <sighs> Depression and anxiety are epidemic cool. levels. Tribalism and nationalism is on the rise. Our hunger for meaning is making us foam at the mouth. I'm not proud of a lot of the actions we've taken, but I understand where that hunger comes from. What are we to do? Inspired ones tell us, well, let's upgrade human consciousness, right? When astronauts go into orbit, they experience what's known as the overview effect as they oversee the planet as a whole, an integrated superorganism with billions of minds, consciousness is life. There it is, right? A marble floating in the cosmos, so much more than a moat of dust, my friends. There is the miracle, and we are a part of the miracle. And that transformation in consciousness, that shift in perspective, seems to heal us of our fractures. How do we expand the distribution channels for an overview effect experience? Do we give everybody psychedelics? Do we create spas for the mind, where people can go and partake in visionary mystical experiences with the Mysterium Tremendum, in order to come out on the other side more empathetic, more compassionate, filled with a sense of purpose and filled with a sense of service because that's what happens when you glimpse great truth right <laughs> the truth of the poets the truth of the mystics the truth of visionary understanding that we exist right <sighs> that we may contribute a verse <laughs> that we may contribute a verse and this is what we must do we must alchemize a transformative shift in perception and self-perception in the way we perceive the other, to realize that the other is ourselves, to gawk and marvel in visionary understanding, to neurofuck ourselves, to experience bliss fuck crucifixions, to submit so that we might die, so that we might be reborn, right? Apotheosis for all. This is what... Nirvana points the way. We must synthesize transformations in consciousness that see transformations in culture powered by a desire for a higher. God, just to see, and I was looking at me.